A day after showing President Biden their storm ravaged homes, families in Queens still have more to clean up. CBS News Christina Fan is live in East Elmers with neighbors who met with the president. Christina. Well, Mary, the president says climate change is the issue here, but families say for decades their basements have flooded whenever it rains. It's so frequent they've learned to place these bricks on top of their toilet seats and also to cap their bathroom drains to prevent sewage from spilling out. A day after President Biden listened to the heartbreak these families endured during Ida. Thank you very much. I'm going to get to question. A sign of change in the alley behind 87th Street. The City Department of Environmental Protection explained to families how they plan to tackle the chronic flooding here. I definitely feel that from what happened yesterday with the officials coming over and the president, uh, that they have to do something now because. They know that there's eyes on this situation. Families say even when there's just a little bit of rain in the forecast, sewage backs up into their homes. But the damage Ida caused was unprecedented. David Perra's basement and backyard were a total loss. I'm tired. 20 years of doing this. I got neighbors doing this for 40 years. I'm tired. I haven't seen my family in six days. The president says the damage he toured was a clear sign of global warming and pushed for the need to pass his infrastructure plan. But Para disagrees. This is a sewage problem. You have 240 families feeding a, feeding a two inch line in the back where the water has nowhere to go. Not far from where the president toured, some families still can't bear to part with their damaged belongings. I think I just need to sit here with it, give it time before I throw it out. Avet Mayo is home from the hospital after being diagnosed with norovirus and E. coli. She believes she got sick trying to save these sewage soaked photos. It's trying to salvage all the photographs from my album, so I was taking them out of the albums and we were stringing them in our living room and they were sort of dripping everywhere and a lot of times I would, you know, I was I didn't have gloves on and I I was crying and I was wiping my face and I think that that's sort of, and I did that from like 6 a.m. to like 11 p.m. straight. And we asked families here if they're concerned about the rain and the forecast tonight. They said for once they aren't because there's nothing left to save. We're live from East Elmhurst, Queens. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.